Welcome to AdTran University's Show Me video series. Today we're going to cover configuring 802.1Q router interfaces. As you can see, I'm already logged into the unit, so I'm going to go ahead and get into configuration mode, config T. Once I'm in config mode, I'm going to go into my first Ethernet interface, in this case, Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. This is going to be my WAN port or my LAN port, whatever is bringing in the multiple VLANs. In order to tell the interface that it's going to be servicing multiple VLANs, I have to add in the encapsulation 802.1Q command. So encapsulation 802.1Q, and we're going to no-shut the interface as well. Now I'm ready to go ahead and configure my sub-interfaces. So interface GI 0 slash 1.1. In this case, the 1.1 indicates that I'm on the primary interface of 1, sub-interface of 1. If I don't add a VLAN tag, then that dot .1 will indicate the VLAN. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and say VLAN ID 1 native VLAN. That's going to denote that this is the native VLAN, and I will receive untagged traffic on it. And then let's apply our IP address 10.10.10.1 slash 24. No shutdown. And if you want to, you can add a description accounting. Now we're ready for a second sub interface. 1.10 VLAN 10 IP address. 10.110.10.1 slash 24 and we can say description IT and we can say no shutdown and that's all there is to it. This completes the configuration guide for configuring 802.1Q router interfaces. For more resources, visit supportforums.adtrend.com, particularly the document Configuring Inter-VLAN Routing in AOS, Quick Configuration Guide. Thank you and have a great day.